So a couple weeks ago, I did a video that was, um, you could say a little bit controversial in the industry, uh, kind of shook some bones, and it was about a concealed carry insurance. But I called out certain things that just didn't sit right with me. But Tim Kennedy decided to get on his platform the other day and uh, pretty much call me out without saying my name. And so we're going to break that video down real quick because Tim Kennedy once again has, um, I don't know. I guess you could say made a bad decision for the Second Amendment community. So here's a video that almost guaranteed is about me. You, you have to address even the worst ankle biters. Um, there's a bunch of people on the internet right now that have been circulating tiny little clips, a 10 to 15 second clip of me from five, six years ago on one podcast where I had used language specific to the audience, where I had said that gun control could be a great solution to active shooters. And that little tiny bit right there, taken out of context. Yeah, I believe gun control is a massive solution. Um, Good. I do not think that- I didn't expect you to say that. I don't think a 19 year old kid should have access to an AR-15. How can that be taken out of context? That's a very definitive statement. What I had specifically said was, any gun law is a form of gun control and that there are good gun laws. And uh, which, which I believe that there are. Americans, a well-regulated militia, mm. our right to own these guns shall not be infringed. Right. And if it's unconstitutional, it's not American. And if it's not American, can't be law. You know, if um, you are a multi-time felon, illegal immigrant that is using drugs, that has a restraining order for abusing your wife, you probably shouldn't buy a gun. In theory, yes. Someone like that, it probably isn't a good thing that they have a gun. In theory though, the problem with saying any gun laws are good is our government, they take that and they run with it. You understand that, right? They take, well, this person shouldn't have a gun and then they expand on it and then they expand on it and then they expand on it to the point where we have so much gun control, we don't know what to do with it. So there is no half in on our second amendment. Well, this person should have a gun and this person shouldn't. You can't draw that line because our government doesn't work like that. Our government is simply, you give us an inch, we're gonna take a mile. So no, no gun laws are good because it affects the entire Second Amendment. So then we get to the point of the video that I did about the concealed carry company, and, and this is what Tim has to say about that. The idea that I am anti-2A is ludicrous. It is absolutely insane. There are good gun laws, and uh, which, which I believe that there are. As we are sitting in the SDR training center that has a gun store at the front, Noble Defender, in a place that is manufacturing suppressors. Just because you like guns, just because you own guns, just because you own a gun shop, does not mean that you're pro 2A. Does everyone get that? Shall not be infringed is very different than, well, we'll allow people to have a gun, but we're gonna tell them what they can and can't do with it. Or that you have to do a background check. Or that this person can have a gun and this person shouldn't. And Tim Schmidt um, owns Delta Defense, USCCA, um, for some reason, they've also been bundled into these ideas of being anti-2A, which is also insane. I, when I say ludicrous, I'm, I'm saying there is not a logical, rational bit of cognitive thought that could make sense of me or US, USCCA or Delta Defense being anti-2A. There are good gun laws. And uh, which, which I believe that there are. Yeah, I believe gun control is a massive solution. Um, Good. Now, as far as the concealed carry uh, insurance company, I have always subscribed to the fact of you are who you surround yourself with. You are who you hire. You're signing off on whatever they're about. That's why most companies out there won't hire a pedophile. That's why most companies out there won't hire a dude who just beats women all day. So if this concealed carry insurance hired you and you say things that are pro-gun control, then that means that they are supporting what you say. I mean, if you look at the ads that they put out with your face on them, the comment section is hilarious. People won't sign up for this company just because they have Tim Kennedy as a front man. Now, if y'all missed the video that I did, one of the reasons why that I dropped this concealed carry company, it's because insurance companies aren't allowed to insure a criminal act, meaning that if you are charged with a crime, it's gonna be very hard for them to cover you because it's insurance. The other thing that 
is very common in insurance policies is that if you're found guilty, they can make you pay all of it back. That's why I dropped them. And also, if you're using Tim Kennedy as your front man, it's not really good for the 2A community. That's why I switched over to attorneys on retainer. They're a law firm. They're not an insurance company. So their hands aren't tied if you're charged with a crime. They have bail coverage. They cover you all the way through trial. And if you take a plea deal or you're found guilty, they don't make you pay everything back. They got coverage in all 50 states, and it's cheaper than most of these other concealed carry insurances out there. At the end of the day, it's simply a better option. So look, I know a lot of our viewers have already switched over to attorneys on retainer. For those of you who haven't, they're giving you $50 off when you sign up. Definitely a switch that I would recommend. So now let's get into the new form of gun control that Tim Kennedy is actively participating in. There's a company out there called Double Check Protect Life and Liberty. Let me start by saying that using AI in order to enhance background checks for gun purchases, it's already been found unconstitutional in California and New York by courts. Yet this company is a private company who's willing to lend their services to gun shops in order to use AI to see if you should be able to own a gun. Um, I'm part of this uh, this group called Double Check that's trying to figure out ways to identify outliers like this where people have information. They wrote their manifesto. Here's a problem with this. Okay, one, it is unconstitutional. Two. It is another form of gun control because AI is not able to read context, right? So if somebody puts a meme out there saying, well, f the ATF, they're probably going to flag it. Every single person should be able to have a tank and a machine gun, in my opinion. But then you go and you're an ambassador for this double check company. Guess who else is an ambassador? Jody Weiss. Oh man, the king of gun control. So Jody Weiss was pretty high up in the Chicago law enforcement. I believe now he's FBI. Really good signs there, but here's something that he said. There are just too many weapons here, he declared at a Sunday news conference. Why in the world do we allow citizens to own assault rifles? Oh man, let me read that again. Why in the world do we allow, allow citizens to own assault rifles? Oh, so you're, you're allowing us to. You think the government allows us to participate in the second amendment. It's not a right. You're allowing us to. Here's another thing that he's done. Jody Weiss, Chicago police to fingerprint handgun owners. Weiss outlined at a news conference Monday how police will implement the handgun ordinance that just went into effect. This is back in 2010. He says the cost for a Chicago firearms permit will be a flat fee of 100 bucks and registering guns will cost an additional $15 per gun. Yeah, definitely a huge, huge Second Amendment guy. I mean, definitely doesn't believe in gun control. So what can we take from this? One, if you truly are a Second Amendment guy, there is no half in, half out. There is no, well, this person, yeah, we can't, they can't have a gun and this person can't. This AI program for gun shops to use, it's just another form of gun control. <laughs>